handkerchief, necktie, comb. To keep looking fine, to keep the girls in line, to stay well-groomed from nine to nine. And even later than that, Get ahead, get ahead, get ahead with well-groomed hair. Get Wild Brews Cream Oil for well-groomed hair. Like any good advertisement, these ads for men are able to link random products to gender. The objective of many men's advertisements is to make consumers feel as though their product will make them more masculine, and using the traits and images associated with being manly in a way that reinforces toxic masculinity. In the first ad, we see a man who is clean-shaven with chiseled features and a serious expression as the subject of the photo. His direct eye contact with the viewer is very striking and gives off a dominant feeling. The caption says, show me the rule and I'll rewrite it, and the ad is for Martel Cognac. The advertisers wanted their audience to make a connection between the tough guy in the photo and their product because they want their consumers to think that they will become like him if they drink their product. In the Gucci advertisement, we see the bottom half of a fit, tattooed man taking his Gucci belt off. The photo is grainy and retro looking. The image is rather sexually charged. Gucci isn't just selling a belt, they're selling sex appeal and confidence for men. Vintage ads, characterized by their oversaturation and sometimes controversial subjects, are products of what was ideal at that time period. They sell their products by suggesting that they will get them women, good image, and success. So what if cigarettes are dangerous? You're a man. The world is dangerous. Smoke your cigarette. You still have to get where you're going. In this Newport ad showing a man lying by a pool tanning and smoking a cigarette, Newport is selling the idea that smoking their cigarettes will make you feel as relaxed and refreshed as him or will make you as cool as him. Ads can have negative effects on society by reinforcing harmful stereotypes, such as this ad showing a man and his wife. The woman is portrayed as an average housewife and her husband a businessman. Schlitz Beer portrays the woman as fragile and distressed at the fact that she can't please her husband with a good dinner. Her husband is comforting her, joking that she can't burn beer. This ad reduces women to a domestic role and is very much geared towards men. Despite the sometimes harmful ways ads lure men into buying their products, some companies have tried to eliminate toxic masculinity with their campaigns. This L'Oreal ad, showcasing makeup and saying, this ad is for men, goes against the stereotype that men don't wear makeup. Many ads are based off of societal preconceptions. This Old Spice ad satirically depicts hypermasculinity to advertise their products. Many ads and commercials nowadays depict men in roles that used to be exclusively feminine, such as dads taking care of their children or doing chores. Society is slowly changing and with it, so is the way products are being sold to us.